Bronson, do do you have a PS5 by any chance? I do, yes. How what do you think of the DualSense controller? I don't hate it. I like some of the features for it. Um it's bulky, more bulky than I expected. It um, does feel it does weigh a lot more than a regular Xbox controller. Actually, I have both of them in front. Uh mm-hmm. DualSense significantly weightier than yeah. a regular Xbox One controller. Um, the reason I bring it up is that there was a survey that Microsoft recently sent to uh, new Xbox Series X um, users, asking them, like, what do they think of the general experience? Does it feel next gen or the graphics, what you're expecting? Uh, but they had one part specifically asking what, um, that, what the Xbox Series X users thought about the DualSense, uh, their direct competitor, what they thought of the features. And I think that's interesting because I really want Xbox to just straight up uh, copy, make their own version of the DualSense because those features for very specific games have been, um, they've just they've just been wonderful to experience. Like I think the definitive way to play uh, Call of Duty Black Ops is with a DualSense. Like it, trust me, it, mm-hmm. it plays so much better with a mouse. But like yeah. if you're just playing campaign, uh, having the vibration, having the triggers, um, mm-hmm. it's it's just so much more immersive. And then you play something like Astrobot, which is like so custom tailored to that. Like, yes, yeah. it's a tech demo or whatever. But I think I can, I can also confirm that uh, Godfall uses haptic feedback and and triggers, and it's the most insane use in like a a melee specific title that I've ever felt. Like, it literally makes you feel like you are holding on to those giant weapons mm-hmm. and swords and like swinging them, and you feel the haptic trigger get harder to press the the like heavier that your combat chain is because you're holding a giant axe it's going to get heavier mm-hmm. the more that you swing it and it's it, it just it, it blew my mind when i was playing it yeah I'm, I'm really hoping that microsoft just says yeah fuck it let's just do our own version of it because i want because uh even when we were speculating back in was it October when we first started the show? Um, we said like, yeah, the, the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers are going to be a really nice feature to have, but we don't expect most non first party yeah. games, like third party games, like the, the, um, mm-hmm. the support of it is going to be so non-existent because why would they put in the extra efforts? I would kind of fight against that because they put in way too much effort in cold and cold war. I, I would say those are more like exceptions to the rule. Like, they put so much effort into the way that Cold War does it that I'm starting to think back on that and be like, I don't know. I kind of think it's going to be fucking sweet when, I, like, more games start using this. I, I would hope they do. But, um, so so you're you're kind of more ambivalent on, on those features, Bronson? Or, or what games have you tried them with? Um, I mostly played Astrobot, which put the features in, which I thought was very nice. I, my favorite implementation is Miles. With the triggers, I didn't notice like it that much. In there. It's subtle because a lot of this stuff, a lot of it with these new features and tech demos, they just throw it right in your face, and I'm like, all right, cool, I get it. But that one is like, oh, it's a little resistance, not a lot. It's like, oh, this is different. Yeah, it's a little bit like just right at the end as you're swinging. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sackboy does it the same way. Like it uses the the haptic vibration really, really well, but but the triggers is super subtle. It depends on what you're like when you're either dragging something out to like jump on it mm-hmm. or when, when you're like throwing one of the like the kind of different weapons that you can get, it's super, super subtle, but you can still feel it. Mm-hmm.